Hey everybody, Sam back once again, and I've got this, the Samsung Galaxy Alpha. Now, it's not the newest device in the market, but the nice people at Vodafone UK decided, well, do you want to have a play with one? So I figured, hell yeah. So yes, the Galaxy Alpha. As I say, I want to say thank you to Vodafone UK for sending this in to me for the review. The link is in the description. Now, I've never actually had a Galaxy Alpha for more than, let's say, 10 minutes at a time. So I'm very happy to actually get to play with this for a couple of weeks. So let's see what we get inside this box. Now, it's not the new, it's not a brand new phone, so it's, it is a little muddled up, but yeah, I'm not the first person to have this phone. So first off the bat, you will be presented with the phone. Now, when you do get yours, you'll have like stickers on it, etc. It'll look all nice and fancy because that's what new phones do. So we'll just take this phone and stick it to the side really quickly. Pull this up here. You're gonna get some of the quick start information. Yep, never read. You're then gonna get your USB cable. So again, yours are gonna be all nice and kind of presented in there. This one, again, it's a review device, so it's just kind of like bundled in there. I've made it look a bit prettier than it did when it, when it first came. <gasps> yeah, I've already looked inside the box. Ah, <laughs> you're also going to get your uh, UK adapter. So if you're in the UK, so if you are getting it on, let's say, Vodafone, then you will get your UK adapter. Other countries will vary for wherever you are. You also get, yeah, you also get some headphones, which I always like to see. Now, I don't always use the headphones that do come supplied, but I do give them to friends and family because the headphones you get in there, they're actually pretty decent. But I normally use my own personal ones. But it's nice you actually get a nice little head set of headphones in there. And that's pretty much it. Oh, you also get the um, little earbuds side there. So you can actually, if you've got bigger ears, smaller ears, you get to do the different size ear tips as well. So what we'll do is just take this off to the side. Stick that about there. And here is the star of the show, yes. The Galaxy Alpha. And once with you, I, again, I've had it out of the box for a... Uh, an hour or two, maybe three, and I've played around with it, and I absolutely love it. it, it the build quality is it's on par with anything else that's out there. Right, so we'll take you around the device itself now it's out of the box. So on the bottom of the device, as you can see about there, you've got your microphone, your micro USB for charging and syncing it, as well as your speaker. Jumping on to the right side, as you can see there, it's nicely, it looks absolutely gorgeous. You just got your power button or your sleep slash wake button, however you want to say it. Jumping onto the top of the device, you've got these little bands. Now what they're for, that's for actually so the, the metal around it can actually get a signal. Um, and there you can see it's got the second microphone and the 3.5mm headphone jack. Going down the left side of the device, again looks very very nice and sleek, apart from the volume up and down up the top. On the back of the device, you've got that 12 megapixel camera, I believe it's 12 megapixel off the top of my head the heart rate scanner, and also the LED flash. Now, cool thing about this one, the back still comes off. So unlike some of the new Galaxy 6s that are coming out, some people are you know, not very happy about that. I'm not that fussed. But this one, your back does come off. It does seem flimsy at first. When it's on there, it feels absolutely solid. The battery itself, I believe, is 1,860 milliamp hours, and it takes a nano SIM card. So we'll stick this back on there. Running onto the front of the device, it's got a 720p display and it's 4.7 inches, so it's not the biggest in the world, but it's still definitely big enough. On the front of it, it has got a fingerprint scanner. Now it's using the older style one that's on the S5 and the Note 4, but it, it still works pretty decently. So I've actually been, again, I've been playing with it. Um, and I'm just going to give you a quick tour around the actual user interface. Now this is called TouchWiz for those people that don't know, and what TouchWiz is is it's Samsung's own take on Android. Some people love it, some people hate it. I'm not a lover or a hater. I think it's okay. There could be some refinements, and they are coming. Now, again, this does run KitKat out of the box. So it does run Android 4.4. But it will be getting upgraded to Lollipop, as I said. So this is the user interface. It just looks like this. I'm not a massive fan of the colours, but apart from that, it, it's all right, to be fair. So I've got to a bad device, and as you can see there... It is running blah blah blah. Whereabouts has it gone? Android 4.4.4. So at least it's running 4.4.4 out of the box. And again, we'll be getting an upgrade to Lollipop. In terms of the performance that I've been playing, you know, since I've been playing around with it, I think it's pretty snappy. Um, I've had no real issues in terms of any kind of lag at all. And the reason for that, the reason why it seems so snappy, is it's running an Exynos 5 octa core processor. And again, off the top of my head, I believe that's clocked at 1.8 gigahertz for four of the cores. 
and then the other four cores are clocked at 1.3 gigahertz. For those that are thinking, what the hell are you talking about, Sam? It's got eight brains. There's an easy way to think about it. And four of them are smarter than the others, or four of them are faster than the other ones. That's probably the easy way to explain it for you. And it also packs two gigabytes of RAM, and I forgot to tell you, 32 gigabytes of internal storage. So, one thing to note, I've actually got 4G Vodafone in my town, which I didn't realise I did. So, well, hey, go Vodafone on that one. But that's pretty much it for the unboxing, the quick first look. Again, these are some of the applications you get pre-installed. If you would like me to make a video upon the pre-installed applications, you can do. And again, remember, this is on Vodafone UK, so it does have a couple of the Vodafone exclusive applications pre-built into the phone. But you have any questions with regards to the Galaxy Alpha? I've got plenty of questions for myself, which I'm going to answer over the next week or two. But if you've got any questions on to ask me about this or anything else, you know what to do by now. You can hit me up down below. Don't forget to follow me on Twitter, yes, at Sam J. Pullum. If you're new to your channel, please do subscribe because, you know, it's, it's free. And go on, tick that like button. You know you want to. Anyway, thanks for watching and you'll see me in my next one. <laughs> Cheers, everyone.